This is my first lecture in DAA. Today we are going to learn how to analyze the iterative algorithm. Iterative algorithm is otherwise called as a non-recursive algorithm and we are going to know how we can mathematically analyze the iterative algorithm. I explain this iterative algorithm mathematical analysis using four examples. The first example one is finding the maximum element in an array. So before writing the algorithm, I want to explain the idea. So you consider you are having an array of size 5. So it starts from 0, you will be having up to 4 numbers and you are having element in that particular cells. And uh, the idea of uh, particular problem is we have to find in the, I mean we have to find the maximum element. So in the given example it is going to be 100. So finding this 100 we are going to write an algorithm. So every algorithm starts with the keyword algorithm and the problem the maximum element and the array in which place we are going to find the maximum element and next step followed by the algorithm is finding the maximum element that is nothing but the description of an algorithm so every algorithm has two important thing that is input and output input here an array a of 0 to n and the output returns the maximum value so we are going to start with the first step of this algorithm is we don't know which element is going to be the maximum among these five numbers. So by default, we are assuming whatever in the zeroth place is going to be the maximum element. That is what I have done here. So what we are going to do next is, we are going to take this 10 that is stored in the maximum element and we are going to compare with the remaining element of the array until it reaches 4 and whenever the element which is greater than 10 comes we are going to replace that element with the maximum element so the iteration going to be repeated for maximum number so i'm going for a for loop where the iterating index starts from 1 and it goes up to n minus 1 so each and every iteration of i we are going to compare the i value is greater than maximum element or not. I tell you what. So initially what we have assumed the maximum element is 10 because this is going to be the a of 0. Now i value going to executed for n minus 1 times. So 4 is going to be the n minus 1 value. So what we are doing, we are checking for each iteration that is a of 1 is greater than a of maximum element or not. So here a of 1 is 5 and we are checking if it is greater than 10 or not. The condition is failed because the maximum element is maximum. So now i gets incremented and it reaches 2. Now we are going to check a of 2. a of 2 is having 100. And the maximum element is 10. The condition is true. Now maximum element is going to be 100. Now i value is get incremented. Now it becomes a of 3. a of 3 is holding the value 80. Now the maximum element is 100. The condition gets failed. Now i value is incremented to 4. Now a of 4 is 3. And we are comparing with the maximum element. Once again the condition fails. When all the iteration get over. The maximum element is 100. So we are returning maximum element. Now it comes the analysis. For analyzing the iterative algorithm, we have to find out the summation formula. Summation formula is nothing but the iterative statement which is executed for more than one time. Here the summation formula is this one and where i starts from 1 and goes up to n minus 1. So next thing is